start this game and well positioned to start this season? You know, I think it's uh, it's a great opportunity for Deshaun. Um, he's a great quarterback with a lot of talent, and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what he can do uh, against the Bucks. Is there something you think, Brock, that you should have, could have done better to to win this job? You know, to be completely honest with you, I have absolutely no regret on anything. Um, from the day I arrived in April, you know, I was um, working extremely hard as far as mastering a playbook, studying a playbook, getting to know my teammates, um, doing everything I could off the field. Um, I had a great summer preparation. Um, I felt like I had a great training camp. So I, I have absolutely no regrets um, towards anything I've done, and, and I definitely left it all out there on the table. There was a report this morning that you're probably not going to play in this game. Has he told you what his plan is for you in the game? And if so, you know, my discussions with Coach uh, are going to remain private, so that's probably a better question for him. Are you uh, uh, at all of the mindset to ask the uh, You know, that's, that's something I'm going to stay away from. You know, like I've told you guys all along, um, I'm always going to just focus on the things I can't control. And right now, um, you know, that's being a great teammate, that's continuing to prepare, um, be a pro, stay in the playbook, and, uh, you know, just continue to strive to be a better player every single day. Uh, you know, I do. I mean, until uh, we have an official day one starter, um, you know, I feel like I have a great opportunity here. And like I've told you guys all along, um, I love being a Cleveland Brown. Um, I think this is a great organization. Uh, I think we have a tremendous head coach. Um, I love playing football for Coach Jackson and, and Coach Lee, our quarterback coach. I love those two coaches. I really do. Um, and so as far as I know, it's still wide open. But, you know, I'm giving the same inf information you guys are. What did, uh, did Hugh give you reasons for his decision? You know, like I said, um, all, all conversations I have with you are going are gonna to remain private. And do you think you got a fair shot to win it? I mean, we talked before about how you didn't really get a chance to work with the ones until really late yeah. in the process. Uh, once again, uh, I, I think Coach Jackson did a tremendous job of, you know, giving everybody a fair shot. Now, whether certain people went with ones, twos, threes, you name it, that's a different story, but we all got equal reps. We were all coached the same way. Um, and we all had a fair shot. So if, if you don't get an opportunity uh, to step out on the field on, on uh, Saturday night, is there anything else that you can do to try to position yourself to start day one? You know, I, I don't think so. Like, like I said, um, I have no regret on anything that's taken place since I've been here. Um, I truly believe I've laid everything out there on the table. Um, I'm very proud of what I was able to show my teammates and, and the coaching staff throughout OTAs. And, you know, like I said, going back to day one when we were just given the playbook um, and how I mastered that. So there, there's no regret on anything, and I don't think there's anything else I need to do. Um, they know the quarterback and, and the teammate that I am. Does this decision surprise you at all? Or you off um, no surprise. I mean, because at the end of the day, there was no starter named yet. Um, so. I'll, you know, really, I came in today knowing that it could have been any of us. Um, so there's there's no surprise. Brock, do you think, though, I mean, only two series in that um, Giants game. And, I mean, doesn't that, do you think you got enough opportunity, I guess, I'm saying in the preseason? You know, once again, I'm only going to focus on the things I can control. You know, our general manager and our head coach, they decide who plays and how much they play. Um, as players, all we can do is try to make the most of the opportunity that we are given. Is it your understanding this is just for Saturday, or is this also for the regular season? You know, I hear the same things that you guys hear. So as far as I know, Deshaun is starting Saturday night, and uh, that's the way it is right now. Since um, you've mentioned that you know, you're a much better quarterback now than you even were mm -hmm. in Denver because of your increased fundamentals that you learned here, um, aren't you just – champing at the bit to get out and prove it? <laughs> Absolutely. I think every player in this league is chomping at the bit to go out there and, and prove themselves to their teammates, their peers, their, their family, um, their organization, their city. Um, and I'm no different. You know, I want to uh, prove that I'm a better player than I showed at times last year. Um, I want to show that I'm an improved player. You know, I'm still a very young, young quarterback in this league. I'm 26 years old, and I still think I have a lot that I can bring to the table. And um, I'm very eager to show people that. Um, but once again, there's certain uh, things that are out of your control. And right now, the depth chart and the rotation is out of my control. So I'm not going to put any focus towards that. I'm just going to worry about the things I can control. Brock, how do you evaluate you know, the two quarters you did get to play, especially no points against 
Yeah, you know, uh, it was a disappointing deal. Once again, not scoring points. Uh, going back and looking at the tape, uh, there was opportunities to score on, on the first series of the game. Um, you know, but, but football is the ultimate team game, and it takes all 11 guys to be in sync on a certain play to get that ball in the end zone. So I think we're getting closer to where we want to be and, and to have our end results um, be touchdowns. But once again, we still didn't meet it on the first series. Second series, you know, we, we did some good things. Like I said, I would have liked to hit the check down on first and 10 rather than trying to hit a home run ball down the seam. Maybe that would have put the team in better position to be in second and five. Um, and then on third down, shoot, you know, the Giants called up a good defense. They covered what we called, and, and I scrambled, and that's all you can do. And, and that's, uh, that's how quick two series go sometimes in the NFL. Are you totally fine if you don't play at Terry, given the fact that it's a lot of, in the fourth quarter, it's normally a lot of backups? You know, I respect whatever decision uh, Coach Jackson makes. Like I said, I, I truly love Coach. Um, he, he's just He's been phenomenal since I've been here. Between Coach Jackson and Coach Lee, I can't say enough great things about those guys. So whatever they decide, I uh, you know support 100%. Mm -hmm. Brock, you're pretty clearly taking the high road here. Is any part of you pissed, annoyed about how this is playing out? <laughs> well, you know, I, I think every single player that's here today at this practice facility would tell you um, their aspirations are to be a starter and to help their team uh, win football games. You know, that's why we all show up to training camp. So um, I'm certainly disappointed that I'm not starting the Tampa Bay game. Um, but by no means does that mean that's that's the end of the season or the end of this or that. Um, it's just it's one football game right now. And you've seen enough in your career to know that anything can happen. And just when you think you've seen it all, you see something new, right? Yeah, you know, you always have to stay prepared. And, and that's really the truth. You know, whether you're a one, two, or three, um, you can get called up real quick. And I think all the quarterbacks experienced that here last year. And um, I've experienced that, whether that be high school, college, or, or in the National Football League. So you always need to stay prepared. You need to be a pro. You need to focus on things you can't control and, and always strive to get better every single day. What, what would have to happen now for you to win that? job uh, for the regular season? You know, I think that's a great question for our uh, general manager. Brock, every time we ask you about it, you're curious uh, about a possibility of a trade, you say you want to focus on what you can control. Does this situation make that more difficult to focus on? Not at all. Things you've been focused on? Not at all. Not at all. Like I said, I love this organization. I love coming to work here every day. Um, there's tons of tremendous people inside this building that we're fortunate enough to get to work with. So um, I'm just enjoying the day and uh, striving to get a little bit better at practice.